Okay, so what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you how we can find the root of a quadratic equation. So the two numbers, one the one positive value and the other negative value, generally, for the quadratic equation. So for those of you who don't know what the formula is, so quadratic, I'll just Google it, quadratic equation. Okay, so over here, so it says the quadratic formula, so the equation is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, where a, b, and c are the coefficients. And the solutions of it would be, is in which you'd input, so you'd put minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And if you go into this sosmaths.com, or whatever this link is, algebra forward slash quadratus, maybe something, forward slash quadra formula, forward slash quadra formula dot html. I'll put the link in the description below just for this particular website. You can see exactly how it's done in maths. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to be designing the program that actually solves this. Rather than having to do it by hand, we can just input the numbers and it will do it for us. So the first thing we can do is we can open up a new program in Python. Uh, a new shell window and you can do that by pressing command N or control N depending on whether you're using Mac or Windows and I'm gonna make a new program and I'm gonna go def we'll call this quads or quad okay this way I can just repeatedly run the program and not have to continuously press or continuously go run run module and then rerun it I can just do it immediately so I'm going to make a quick print statement saying this program will find the roots of a quadratic equation. Okay, and now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to acknowledge, so since we know that it's ax squared plus bx plus c, we need to have the three numbers in which we're going to use to solve it. So this can be done so we, we're going to need some integer values and we're going to need to use the we're going to have to declare some variables so since we used a b and c let's make a variable called a and let's say integer input and we can say what oh please input the first coefficients. Okay, and remember to close both the parentheses and then we can make a b and I can pretty much have the same thing except it will be the second coefficient. So we need to call this second here. And then I can make another variable called c and that will be the exact same thing except it will be the third. Okay, now what we're going to have to do is, as you saw in the formula, if oh, okay, I've lost the formula, but if you if you saw in the formula, it's the square root of the discriminant. As a result of this, we're going to need to use something called we're going to have to use pi maths. Now there are two ways we can there are a few ways you can do this for this particular kind of um, program that we're going to be solving. We can either, so I'll just put this in a comment, uh, we can either do it in a few, we can do it in a few different ways. The first way we can do it is by using the function called from math import square root, which is the one I'm going to be showing you. The other way you can do it is you can do, that way what we're doing is we're importing the math library, but more specifically, we're importing the square root function from the math library. The other way you can do it is by you can doing or by doing um, from math import star, and the star will basically import every single pos possible function that the math library has. So you can use any of them. However, that's a far more untidy and it's considered to be bad practice of Python as well. The third way we can do this without having to actually import math from uh, importing the math library you can just simply use the variable and you can simply use the variable 
and then you can do it to the power of a half. So let's call the variable x and then star star, which means the to the power of and 0.5. So those are the three main ways that you can potentially do this. So I'm going to just use the first one. Okay. So I can just go ahead and in the top here, I can put from math import sqrt. So from math import the square root function. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and delete these. And once I've done this, I can now go ahead and right. I can now go ahead and declare a new variable because now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be finding out the value of the discriminant. Okay, so we're going to be doing, so I'm going to name this disc, so disc for discriminant, and that's going to be equivalent to b squared minus 4ac. So we're going to do b star star 2 minus 4 star a star c. Now remember the stars means multiply. Now if you have watched my other videos then you'll understand um, the different kinds of formats that Python uses like as in for multiplication division is the star and the slash sign and other different syntax formats. Once you've done this you, I'm now going to declare another variable and I'm simply going to call this discriminant1 or disk1 and the value of this is going to be the square root sqrt of the discriminant okay that should make sense so what, what I'm basically doing here is the formula was minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac so over here this is your b squared, wherever the op symbol is, yeah, b squared, minus 4ac. And over here, it's the square root of this. That's all we're doing. I'll just keep the formula up. So I'll just Google. Quadratic formula. Okay, we're going to purple math this time. Okay, so over here, as you can see, it's the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Now, the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to find out what would the possible positive value be. So when you're finding the roots, there's always going to be one positive value and one negative value. That's, I guess, the way it is. So what you have to do is I'm going to decide, I'm going to make a new variable here, and I'm just going to call this positive and the positive value is going to be in brackets minus b plus the square root of the discriminant which is the square root of b squared minus 4ac and I've called that's going to be disk 1 in parentheses all divided by in brackets 2 star a now this is literally what the formula is. So if I just bring this to the side, so you can actually see it over here. So I'll put minus b plus, so since there are two values here, there's a plus value and a negative value. Um, it's minus b plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, which is exactly what I've done here. So the disk 1 is the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Okay, so all you can just put here. This is the value of the discriminant. I guess that's how you spell it. I could be wrong. Anyways, that's the first value. Now, like I just said a minute ago, it's, there's, it's a plus and a minus that you have to be using. So I'm going to have to make a negative value. And that's going to be equal to, in brackets, minus b minus disc1. all divided by 2a. Okay, and that's really about it. So now I can go, so for ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, I, these, and these will now 
output my one positive value and my one negative value. So I can go ahead and print a statement saying um, when the or oh, when you have oh no in fact let me just give you the straight answer the positive value of the quadratic equation is and in curly brackets zero and uh, and the negative value is in curly brackets one dot format and so the first one is positive and the second one is negative negative now this is the entire program so what I've done here is from maths I've imported the square root function and only solely the square root function made a print statement just to tell you, you know, what the actual program is going to be doing make it integer input, you can have a float input if you want to be obscure and have like 14.4 or something because remember float number is a number with a decimal point and you can say please input the first coefficient, the second and the third coefficients and then this is the actual maths of it and then at the end I've just put a print statement here now let me go ahead and run this so function f5 save save it as untitled where's my invalid syntax oh okay remember to make sure that you close all your brackets and open them correctly so I named this program quad so the first coefficient let's take it as 4 second one I can make it as negative 2 third one I'll make it as 8, I don't know. Math domain error. Now the reason this will come up is because the value of the square root, the value of the discriminant is actually negative. Now that's not actually possible to square root because you can't really do that. So let me, let me create another program. So let's take it as 1, negative 6, negative 2. And there you go. That makes much more sense. So the re so if you actually get this error like I just did, even though you input at a random number, what you actually have to make sure and really, really make sure about this is the fact that when you are doing your b squared minus 4ac, that the d value of the discriminant has to be greater than 0. Because if it's not, if it's a negative integer, you can't do the square root of a negative integer, and Python does not understand that. It does not really compute, because it doesn't really know imaginary numbers or complex numbers or anything yet. So it will come up with the traceback error, and it will just say math domain error. Whereas if you use numbers that are greater than 0, then obviously it can work, because you can square root a normal number. So in this case here, I said... The program will find the roots to the quadratic equation. The first number is 1, negative 6, negative 2. And as a result, these are my positive and negative numbers. And these are therefore the two roots of the equation. Now you can just go ahead and round them down to like three significant figures or however many you want to do it. Okay, so that's really about it. So I'll put the um, the quadratic formula in the description below and yeah I hope that helps and I hope that allows you to solve them quite easily that way it also saves you a lot of time and you don't have to use a calculator so there you go if you have any other questions just leave a comment down below email me whatever and I'm Carl from carlsapsy.com thank you very much for watching